What's up guys? What a crazy two months it's been. So my last video that I posted, I posted on my Achilles and I was walking on the beach. Everything was going fine until two days later where I came down with COVID. So I was in Durban and having a great time, came down with COVID and things just got worse and worse and worse for me. Uh, it started really easy and I just felt like I had a sore throat and my nose was running, uh, dosing up. Thought it was just because I was in the sea so much and getting cold and hot the whole time. And each day from the day that I started getting sick just got worse and worse and worse. Ended up going to the hospital to go get checked. My lungs were so sore every time I was breathing in. They were hurting like crazy, but like deep down. Walking on the beach was, was a nightmare. I was struggling to breathe and struggling to, to keep my breath going. I went to the hospital, got, got, got checked out, and my blood pressure was super high. It was 180 over 110. My oxygen saturation was 99%, which was weird because the way I was feeling, I was short of breath. I couldn't get deep breaths of air in. And to have a 99% and still feel like that was, was weird, but I'm glad that it was 99% still. But every day after that just got worse. My lungs cleared up, thank goodness, and they weren't sore anymore to breathe. But breathing itself became difficult. I had no energy. And being in Durban, I was still six hours away from home. So thinking about getting home was such a crazy thought. I thought to myself, how am I going to drive for six hours feeling like this? Um, so I just kept steaming. I was steaming constantly with peppermint and eucalyptus oil, hot steam. And the doctors told me that that helped get rid of that, that tightness in my chest because it just loosened everything up the whole time. So I started feeling better with the lungs, but... I was feeling energyless for the next 16 days. And during this time, I started getting panic attacks. And I don't know if it was just the thought of having COVID and my body straining and, and struggling to breathe that triggered it. Or my body was just working so hard that because I was struggling to breathe and my heart rate was so high, it was just forcing panic onto my brain because my brain was just overthinking things and overworking and because I was straining I just started having panic attacks so as you know from my previous videos I've managed my panic attacks I didn't have a panic attack for quite a long time quite a I'd say about a year or two uh, without anything and managed it perfectly I've been training hard up until having COVID it just spiked again and I was having like three or four panic attacks a day where it's been a month now since I've had COVID and only now can I leave the house and go do things and go to work without having that constant fear of having a panic attack because I would just walk to my car and instantly have a panic attack, come back home and then I'd feel okay and then I'd have another panic attack when I go to sleep and wake up early hours of the morning. So it's been quite a crazy ride, but uh, I'm finally feeling a little bit more like myself, which is great. I can get back to training. I've started training at home here. I've just been doing light dumbbells and just doing some, some upper body work and doing some squats just to get my heart rate up, just to test it because I found that when I started doing a little bit of exercise, it would trigger a panic attack. So it's just that balance now where I think I've crossed that line where I can actually do some exercise and not flare up into a panic attack. My heart races, but it feels normal like when, when you're actually working. And I think my heart's a little bit weaker from the COVID and my lungs are a little bit weaker. So slowly building up some fitness and some strength again. It's going to take a few more months, I think. But at least I'm, I'm starting, uh, starting slowly and working my way up. Uh, my Achilles is getting stronger, which is great. That's the one good thing. Uh, I still don't have any calf muscle, but I've been to physio. I went to physio the one day about two weeks ago and I had a panic attack in physio because I was doing squats and lunges and doing all these crazy balancing exercises and plyometrics to try work the stabilizer muscles of the calf. Had a panic attack in physio, so that wasn't great, but I'm going next week again just to build up the calf and build up the strength. So I'm walking a bit better. My limp has gone away. I've probably got about 10% of a limp still where I can feel that I can't lift off properly. 
So when I'm walking, I'm not able to lift my foot properly. That's going to take time. It's only been five months now. It takes about a year for full recovery. So I thought I'd just give you guys an update to what's happening. And as soon as I start training again and start doing things, I'll, put, I'll do some more videos and uh, take you with on the journey. And uh, if you guys have any questions regarding Achilles, panic attacks, anxiety, the things that I've done to manage it, um, or thoracic outlet syndrome, because uh, a lot of my subscribers have thoracic outlet syndrome. So if you have any questions or frozen shoulder questions, anything on those lines, just leave a comment below. And then, uh, yeah, we can get some videos going and, and help some of you out there. But uh, I'll let you know how things go and I'll see you guys soon.